Should we also be <coughs> quickly? Should we also be looking at uh, some form of uh, you know checks? Because I, I know that there's communication between the country of origin, where maybe a vessel is coming, and the country of destination. Perhaps uh, maybe we should uh, you know have a better collaboration with those who man that communication line, so that such concealing you know uh, containers. Uh, ultimately will be revealed because this looks really really dirty from the start uh, the way it was loaded the way it was concealed the way it escaped the uh, eye of the customs and officers there at the port to the extent that it got on the street this uh, I mean uh, so, so I'm looking at <coughs> um, a basis perhaps there definitely this should be for the customs but uh, on our own side here uh, shouldn't there be uh, a, a watertight communication that is based on truthful data uh, between the country of origin and that uh, and destination. Invariably, the country of origin um, states the contents of whatever they are packing into containers. Whether that original document is what gets to Nigeria, I don't know. <coughs> Doctoring of documents can happen. And if the documents for a particular consignment does not show what is discovered to be in the container, I think that should be put aside for investigation. Because I think the International Maritime uh, Organization has some rules in respect of this type of things. Once you are, once somebody is ordering something from you, the contents of whatever you are packing is supposed to be reflected in the bills of lading. That bill of lading contains the information. Even to petroleum and other things, you know, they, you know, they you have, they have know, documents. General, so and, to cut you here, because I recall before uh, uh, Mr. Denny uh, uh, left as the spokesperson of the Nigerian Customs. We, we, we have asked him about some other things and he had also promised the nation that they were going to have some website, uh, you know, an online mechanism whereby people can actually check some of uh, the goods and for those who are trying to clear things. I'm putting this side by side because it looks like we have an ugly situation at, within the Customs. We have to say it the way it is. Uh, a situation whereby it was only recently we had the news about helicopters and how it was also the customs, one of the bosses there, that said something quite contrary, that they were going to chase those people who brought in helicopters and abandon them there, only for us to hear another story from the governor of River State saying, hey, wait a minute, I did write, I wrote a letter to the presidency, to the president, telling him that we were, we were gifting this since we couldn't pay uh, for the, uh, what do you call it again, uh, <clears throat> Help me with the word. <laughs> now, they, no, because they, they couldn't pay, and so they said they, 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 is it they, demarrage? They, not the demarrage. Uh, so it's not demarrage. The duty. Uh, the duty. Is good. The duty. So, yeah, they couldn't pay, and they, so they had to gift it to the government to give to the Nigerian Air Force. So if a man as high as that didn't get an inkling of what that was about, and he came out with a statement as that. And uh, contrary to what we also got from the River State government, and we we'll put this side by side with what has just happened with the container leaving uh, the, the port. you know, the port <laughs> that is supposed to be the most secure, getting on the street. Shouldn't we be asking questions? It, 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 you see, there are there are a lot of things that we need to put in place. In the first place, I don't see. Uh, I'm I'm yet to be convinced that. Uh, the river state governor did what was correct what was he ordering helicopters for combat helicopter for what the, the, the last administration okay in the last administration yeah. combat helicopter he to gave they, 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 they gave reasons they said to patrol the creeks the, the former governor ordered them to patrol the creeks and uh, when it was time for this president to want to clear i think I, i'm looking at information i'm not looking at the rationale behind the importation if the customs got it all wrong saying giving us the impression that someone had imported helicopters you know military helicopters and we thought that the person had disappeared into thin air 
everyone thought it was a person, an individual, a company, not knowing that it belonged to a state. So uh, a big information as that didn't come from the customs until it came from the other quarters. Don't you think that there's something wrong within the customs service that we're not getting true information about I what happens around there? I agree absolutely with you. Something is wrong. Uh, and I, my f feeling is just that uh, what could have informed anybody in the country trying to take such a step? Ordering combat helicopters. For what? Those are things that are of special nature that are supposed to be used by uh, uh, the forces. And if you are going to bring in such a thing, if it's a contribution to the country's uh, forces, fine. But why should you? as uh, a state governor if I could. The, even if you it is meant for patrol in the creeks and all the rest of it it is a combat responsibility if I and could it's flip, supposed to be turned over if mm. i could flip the coin you know just a bit and ask what goes through people's minds because i think the leadership of customs has done some i think they call it easy cleansing or trying to reorganize the place about two or three times Yes. There's even a recent one that so many redeployments happened in the customs, mm -hmm. yet this went through the same customs and on the streets before it was intercepted and taken back mm -hmm. to FOU get your office. Yes. What is really going on? Because how do people who are supposed to be defending or serving the country allow these kind of things go through them? And not even just this one, the same way you see expired drugs go through different mm -hmm. areas, mm -hmm. people consume them, mm -hmm. we see all sorts of images. Yes. That's a fundamental problem. Yes, the, 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 the issue really is uh, the Nigerian. How sincere, how committed are we in the jobs that we are paid to do? We, we, we need to question our work ethics. I do not want to even play, play, put the blame totally on the shoulders of uh, customs. It is the Nigerian. Why should I be put in a particular position to check certain things and they escape my notice? It suggests that some of them don't have enough reasons to be loyal to this country. They don't even have enough reason to be there. If you are not sufficiently committed to do what you are paid to do, get out it is not a country where we have too many jobs around now far too many people are unemployed so if for god's sake you are employed and you are charged with your responsibility you must be totally committed to ensure that nothing escapes your attention because unless we have that as a work ethics we may not be able to get out of this because no matter the number of uh, reform, uh, reorganization, sacking, and all the rest of that of, of it that you do, our work ethics as Nigerians need to be put into question. So what else do you we think? We need to be very committed. We need to dedicate ourselves to our responsibilities. If 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 if, if I'm given a job to come here and pick newspapers, and uh, all I'm, I'm paid at the end of the month is only two naira. It's a question of, for as long as I do it, do it thoroughly. And when I believe that it is, what you are paying me is peanuts, I can always ask you, can you pay me more? If you cannot pay me more, I have to get out. But for God's sake, if you are there and you are getting paid for it, it is your responsibility. You do the job. It's shocking. Uh, and so at that point, that we'll just have to... Okay, well, we'll just uh, uh, rest it for now. I uh, want to thank you for coming on, uh, retired Brigadier General Olushagun Ajano, for your thoughts this morning. It's something that we'll also keep our focus on as we progress. We'll be back in a moment. Join us again.